welcome back to my channel. Today we find ourselves at Barstow Amtrak Station with the classic Harvey House that was built by the Santa Fe as well as the Western American Railway Museum which we'll, we'll get to in the second part of the video. First let's take a closer look at the Santa Fe's Harvey House at Barstow. Named the Casa del Desierto, it was built in the 1910s by the Santa Fe Railway, which replaced the original depot dating back to the 1880s. This station has been in continuous use since about 1880. Of course, the building has been replaced, like I said. Also, Barstow is one of the spots where there are rail fan cameras for virtual rail fan. Anyway, let's take a closer look at some of the architecture and interior spaces of the building. The building is mostly brick with a number of fluted pillars. Inside, we find a number of displays, or at least one small display, honoring the Harvey girls with the famous Fred Harvey Company restaurants that the Santa Fe operated. This is one of two rooms that was open that day I visited. It was during a weekday, so there weren't as many people there, at least. I think that's how it usually is. Also, the Amtrak trains only come in the morning and the evening for the station. This is a beautiful room, which is an event space, I would guess. So they use it for a lot of various things. And this is another one that is just off of the main entrance. On the second floor, there is a aeronautics museum. And in an adjacent building, there is the Western American Railway Museum's interior displays. On the west side of the Harvey House, there's this extension, which I can only guess was either used for some freight or express service or maybe passenger baggage service. And now, let's go over and take a closer look. This museum has interior displays, like I said, but it was a weekday and they're only open on weekends. So you have to plan your day here on the weekends if you want to see the inside, but the outside is completely accessible to the public for anyone. First thing we see is an Arizona and California Railway business observation car and one of the more unusual pieces of equipment in railway history. This is Santa Fe number 1460 in the pinstripe paint scheme, blue and yellow freight. This was originally a Baldwin locomotive, Baldwin Locomotive Works that is, and it was remotored later by EMD. And if you are a keen spotter of diesels, you'll notice that that end looks a lot like a Jeep, which it's probably based off of a GP style engine. This was one of the last end cab switchers that was used by Santa Fe and BNSF. It didn't last on BNSF for long until being donated to the museum. There are two cabooses, Santa Fe Union Pacific, in special duty or SD EMD, old Santa Fe colors, another SD series Union Pacific locomotive, and towards the end of the museum on the east side, there's a stored observation car, a GE 44 or 45 ton switcher. Some of this information I might get incorrect, so please do tell me in the comments below. And then, their most famous piece, at least I would think is their most famous, is their EMD FP45 from 1967. 
This locomotive was one of the last passenger locomotives built for the Santa Fe Railway. It operated their main passenger trains, including the now predecessor to the railway that still operates passenger service, Amtrak of course, to Barstow on the Southwest Chief. This locomotive ran on the of a number of passenger services, including the Super Chief. Well, that's it for the museum, and until next time, I'm Nate, and God bless.